We're in the last week of Women's History Month, and today we're highlighting one woman who's made a significant mark on world athletics, as well as athletics here in Idaho. Ann Audain was the first professional distance runner and is considered the world's winningest road runner. Ann is also the founder of the Women's Fitness Celebration, now known as the famous Fit One Race. She was recently inducted into the World Athletics Museum for all of her accomplishments, and she joins us this afternoon on the News at Four. Ann, thank you for joining us. You're welcome, it's a pleasure. And what does being entered into the World Athletics Museum mean to you? Well, it's a really nice cap on my career. I've honest, I've received a lot of honors. Um, I'm in the New Zealand Sports Hall of Fame as well as the United States Sports Hall of Fame. But this one, I think you feel that you're very respected um, and appreciated for your career and it's been done by the international body that governs your sport. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, question for you, why did you choose to start the Women's Fitness Celebration known as Fit One? Why did you do that here in Idaho? I know we were just talking about that a little before we entered back into the show. Well, I um, came to the United States in 81 and spent the first few years in Denver, and I just found it wasn't quite the right place, and I was introduced to Boise. And so I moved to Boise in 1984, and um, made Boise my training base uh, and home for the rest of my career. So I love that place, miss it. <laughs> it misses you. Are you impartial to running in Boise? What do you love most about running in Boise or in Idaho? I think it was, um, it was the purity of it. It reminded me a lot about New Zealand, which is my native oh. uh, land. And I was looking to simulate a lot of what I found was very productive for me in New Zealand in terms of uh, running terrain mm -hmm. to, to train on. Uh, I have run up Bogus Basin Road many times oh my goodness. Uh, and not and not down uh, <laughs> to get to get my strength. So it was perfect for me. It was just perfect. I loved it. Yeah, the foothills are fantastic for all types of training. What accomplishments are you most proud of? You really are a trailblazer in your field. Well, when you when I saw that question, I thought, okay, I'll say the year 1982, because now that I look back and uh, and even with this um, award, that's what they're focusing on. That in 1982, I broke the world record in the 5,000 meters. I went unbeaten on the road racing circuit the entire year. I won 15 races and broke course records in every single race. And at the end, I won a Commonwealth Games gold medal for my country in Brisbane, Australia, and ended up with the number one ranking in the world. That's what you call a perfect year. Oh. And there's nothing else you can do. So the year of 1982, I could have retired then and <laughs> been very, very happy. Um, but I continued on another 10 years. Another 10 years, and your body didn't give out on you. And from your perspective, what's the importance of Women's History Month of this month that we celebrated? Well, I think the importance of history is certainly learning your history so that you can take it and improve on it. Um, and so any time that we can read history and get knowledgeable about history, I think it empowers us to hopefully make changes for the better. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this is the 50th anniversary of Title IX here in the United States, which had a huge impact on women's sports in this nation. and. I just think that there's so many young women who do not understand what that Title IX, young sportswomen, particularly in high school and college, that did not understand what Title IX actually did for women's sport in this nation. Yeah, that's an important note. And I'm sure that this interview and all of your accomplishments inspire the younger generations of athletes and runners that come behind you. And thank you so much for joining us here on the News at Four. Thank you so much for having me. Of course, we'll talk to you later. And coming up tonight on the 208, the Idaho State Legislature hasn't officially ended, but all required business has been done. We hear from both parties about how they think the session went, what their concerns were, and where we go from here. We're back with more of the news at four, though, after this. Yes. And thank you so much. I wish we could have asked you a million more questions. You are fascinating. Well, anytime you want to do that, you just give me a buzz. Okay, we will. So this is the 50th anniversary for Title IX. I did not realize. 
Yes, yes, it is. And, and you know, when you really think of the progress that women have made, you think about how many um, women sports officials there are, administrators, yeah. um, commentators, women female sports reporters, yeah. um, coaches. I, I, it's been an amazing um, progress made and obviously more to go, but yeah. it certainly has been wonderful. Yeah, we definitely don't have gender equity or parity just yet, but hopefully that'll get us there in the years to come. Well, you know, what's been interesting, you know, the, the American women's soccer team just made a huge yes. success. Yes. And the same thing just happened in New Zealand with New Zealand's female right. rugby team. I saw that. Um, the, yeah. So so you got to hold on to the progress. Um, you know, every fight's worthwhile. And, and the younger generation certainly need to stand up for their rights yep. and for fairness moving forward. And understand that there were so many that came before yeah. that were brave enough, brave enough to do it so they can too. Oh, I love that. I wish I could have talked to you about all that earlier too. And you were great. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll definitely keep you in mind for the future. All right, you're welcome. Take care. Have a good afternoon. Bye. Bye.